Hello everyone and welcome to Psyche Truth. It's Sanella here. Today we're going to be releasing a lot of tension from the lower back and also building the mobility and the strength in your spine. So that way you can handle a lot more stress and you can handle a lot more things to advance your practice and things like that. All right, and let's go ahead and begin. So make sure you're sitting nice and tall, heart is lifted. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. And then from here, I invite you to close your eyes. Take a deep breath here. Bring all your attention to your breath. And gently exhaling through your mouth here. And go ahead, bring all your attention to your breath and keep breathing here. This way we are connecting the breath and the body together, preparing it for our practice here. So take a deep inhale again. Pause. And gently exhale. Inhale deep again. Exhale. Two more deep inhale here. And exhale. One more deep inhale here. Really deep all the way into your belly. And gently exhaling out. Maybe put a little smile on your face. Rising both hands all the way up. Go ahead, open your eyes. Placing your palms together here. Job. one more time inhale deep and then from here we're gonna move into that seated spinal twist here just like that keeping that spine nice and long as you look over your right shoulder here and take a deep breath into here and exhale coming back to center both hands up and let's move to your left side here Again, push that left shoulder back of you as you twist in this posture here, really releasing the tension, taking a deep inhale here. And exhale. Gently coming back to center. Let's do that one more time on each side here. Here we go to your right. Inhale deep here. And exhale. So what we're doing here, we are awakening the spine and just getting it ready for your practice here. And gently coming back to center here. And then go ahead, switch sides, same thing here. Taking a nice deep inhale, going a little bit further into the stretch here. Then exhale. Both hands up. And gently just come into that a little fold here, just a little bit. Take a deep breath. And then exhale. Good job. Come back to center. Nice. Now from here, gently move around. And then from here, you're going to move into that child's pose right here. So if you have a thicker ties here, have your big toes touch each other as your knees come apart so you can go a little bit deeper into that child's pose, opening the hips here. And we're gonna take about three deep inhale through your nose here. And exhale gently. And really just align yourself to come to this present moment and taking advantage of this time. And this is your time. Always remember that. Taking care of your body, mind, and spirit here. Inhale deep. Exhale. One more time. Deep inhale. Gently coming all the way up to all fours from here. Then when you're ready, tuck your toes in and then gently lifting your hips all the way up towards the ceiling. You're 
tailbone goes into downward facing dog. Now in your downward facing dog, allow your head to really just drop down and maybe saying yes, maybe saying no. And just releasing the tension from your neck here. Taking a nice deep inhale. And then exhale. Again, deep inhale here. Exhale. Good job. And then from here, look at your hands and slowly start walking towards your hands here. Just like that in front of your mat. And then you're going to do a forward fold here. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Inhale deep, flat back. So imagine your back is nice and flat as if you were making a table out of your back here, just like that. And then push your shoulders back so it's a nice long spine here. As you are elongating in your spine here, you're also building strength in your lower back here. And gently forward fold, keeping your knees here 90 degrees bend. Nice. All right, now we're going to go into swan dive, into a mountain posture here. I'm going to go ahead and turn towards you here, making sure your legs coming directly down from your hips, shoulders are relaxed here. And gently, we're just going to lean back just a little bit, thrusting your hips forward, relaxing your shoulders, and then come back to center. Then from here, placing your hands down, and then deep inhale, rising both hands up. And then exhale, grabbing your left hand above your wrist here and then move into that side half moon stretch. So what we are doing here, we're stretching the side body and building the mobility in your spine as we release the tension from your lower back here. Take a nice deep inhale, really pull. Good job. Coming back to center. Go ahead, grab your left hand, right hand, and then move to your left here. Again, keeping that spine nice and long here, taking a deep breath. All right, just a little bit longer here. I can feel that pull on my right side of the body. It feels amazing, and it feels really good to release that tension from your lower back. All right, gently coming back to center hands down and then again rising both hands up good job I'm gonna turn this way and then forward fold inhale flat back exhale forward fold good job now from here plant your hands down right leg back left leg back and gently coming all the way down Extend your toes, take a nice deep inhale, lifting into that baby cobra, shoulders are back and down here, and gently coming back down, good job coming up, moving into that uh, child's pose here, taking a deep inhale, exhale, One more time, deep inhale here. Exhale. All right, coming all fours, tucking your toes in here, lifting into that downward facing dog. And we're gonna hold it here. Now I want you to bend your knees a little bit deeper as you really relax your head down. Nice long spine here. Maybe even wriggle your tailbone if you can, just a little bit. And remember, guys, here, go in your own pace. Take your time and just be consistent with your practice. If you really want to start noticing the difference in your body and the connection with your body, with your breath and, and, uh, and your mind and your thoughts and everything else that goes along with it. Allow yourself to do this and have no judgment towards it. Take a deep breath here. 
Exhale, gently relaxing and straighten your legs here. Good. Look at your hands, start walking forward. Forward fold again, keep your knees 90 degrees bent here. Just like that, and then relax down. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale deep, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Gently reverse swan dive all the way up, just like that. Nice. Palms together, bring it to the center of your heart here. All right, now from here, we're going to rise both hands all the way up. Then you're going to grab that left hand. We're going to move into that side stretch again. Taking a nice deep inhale here. And exhale. And then come back to center. Same thing here. Grabbing your right hand and move into your left side here. Really pull your right hand so you can really feel that nice stretch in the side body here. And again, you're releasing a lot of tension from your lower back here. Take a nice deep inhale one more time. And then exhale. Coming back to center. And then from here, we're going to move into that forward fold. Nice and gently. Inhale, deep flat back. Shoulder are pushed back, nice long spine. Looking directly down to your mat, so you're always focusing on lengthening that spine here. Forward fold. Plant your hands, right leg back, left leg. And then from here, we're going to nice and gently come all the way down. You can place your knees here if it's uh, easier for you. And then gently extend your toes, take a deep breath, and baby cobra here. And exhale, coming down. And let's go ahead and move into that child's pose again here. You're going to notice each time you do this flow, you'll notice the body starts to give in more, and you will feel a lot more looser, more limber, and just overall more connected to your body here. Again, take a deep inhale. Exhale. All right, we're going to take a, two more deep inhales in a child's pose. Take a deep breath all the way into your belly. And exhale. Inhale deep one more time. Exhale. Nice and gently, we're going to come up. And then you're going to move into that downward facing dog here again. Take a deep breath again. Keep it nice, deep, bent in your knees here. And then gently straighten your legs down, placing your feet all the way down as far as you can go onto your mat here with your feet heels again go as far as you can don't don't judge yourself here just go with it and go in your own pace take your time just make sure you really take this time for you and complete this whole flow and gently look at your hands and start walking towards your hands here Forward fold, keep those knees bented here. Inhale deep. Then inhale, flat back. Notice how long a spine is here. Notice how I push my shoulders back away from my ears. In yoga practice, it's also very important to um, make sure that your body is in line here. So we're always working on the posture as well as, as a physical aspect of the practice. And gently reverse swan dive all the way up into mountain pose. Palms together. Bring it to your heart here. Inhale deep. Grabbing your right, left hand. And 
and stretch. I always kind of sometimes get confused with my left and right just because I get in a Zen mode with all the breath. You're like, huh? Oh, what? It happens. It's okay. No judgment here. Hmm. Good job. Coming back to center. Palms together. Bring it to your heart. I'm going to rise those hands one more time. Inhale all the way up. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, D, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, right leg back, left leg back. High plank here. Again, place your knees down, gently coming all the way down. Stand in your toes, deep inhale. Baby cobra, and if you can, maybe go all the way into full cobra, just like this. And gently come back down. Inhale deep, child's pose here. Again, maybe open your legs a little bit further apart here. Going a little bit deeper into those um, hips here. Just like that. Take a deep breath. And remember, if you really want to see the difference in your body, in your practice, you got to stay consistent with your practice and taking this time and making it your priority. And don't let nothing stop you from achieving your goals and going for it. You're in charge of it. You can do it. Take a deep breath here. Exhale. Good job, coming back, all fours again, tuck your toes in, downward facing dog, good job, walk towards your hands, we're going to speed it up just a little bit, inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold, inhale, reverse swan dive, palms together, bring it to your heart, center here and relax your arms again deep inhale rising both hands up grabbing your left hand and moving to that side half moon stretch notice that now you can go a little bit deeper into this stretch you're gonna feel so good after this stretch I promise you your lower back is gonna be nice and mobile and there will be a lot of tension released and you're gonna increase your flexibility and so much more all right let's switch sides here and again, keep taking those deep breaths here. In your yoga practice, always make sure you breathe. You never hold your breath because you want the muscles to relax. You don't want to keep them tense. So just breathe, let go, and just be here. Nice. Coming back to center. Hands coming down. And gently again, inhale deep. Palms together. Bring it to your heart. My right here. <laughs> Good job. All right, let's come back here. All the way up and forward fold. Nice high plank. Gently coming all the way down. Inhale, cobra here. Baby cobra. Again, if you want to go a little bit more advanced, go into your full uh, cobra stretch. Just make sure you relax those shoulders down as your heart is being lifted. Gently coming back down. Child's pose here. Take a deep breath. Exhale. All four, stack your toes in, downward dog. Relax your head down, maybe say yes or no. Look at your hands, start walking towards your hands, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. All right. Reverse swan dive all the way up into mountain posture. Palms together. Bring it to your heart here. Good job. Release your hands down. Inhale, rising both hands all the way up. Grab your left hand here. Thank you guys so much. You have done this flow with me so far. I'm really proud of you. Stay consistent with your practice. And uh, 
you will start to notice a big difference in your body. Releasing your hands down, inhale deep. Good job. Forward fold here. Plant your hands, high plank. Bend your knees and go ahead, move into a child's pose here. Take a deep breath. All right. All right. That was a beautiful practice. Thank you guys for staying with me and doing this practice and really challenging yourself and, and wanting to make a, a change in your body and mentally and physically. So I hope your back is feeling a lot better. I hope your spine is nice and long now and things like that. Stay consistent. Um, if you guys want to do a little challenge I created, it's called Unleash Your Inner Power Challenge. To check out this challenge, go to powerbooty.com. And thank you so much. Subscribe to Psyche Truth. Make sure to favorite this video. Until next time, see you in the next video. Namaste.